Hello, my name is Adeyemi for Clueless Junkie. In this video, I'm going to show you how to read and interpret a structural drawing. Whether you have a construction background or you are about to embark on your first building project, you will find this video very useful. At the end of this video, you should be able to read and uh, interpret uh, an engineer's drawing. If you're new to this channel, please go on and hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, I'll be happy to respond. I promise to make your life easy. So let's jump right into it. This is the title of the drawing. Then um, we've got general note. Uh, this talks about the concrete mixture, which is a ratio of one to two to four. Then um, the recommended concrete cover, the floor star, beams, columns, column footings, and walls. And all that. So the next item is a foundation floor plan layout. This one basically shows the arrangement of the column footings and the type of columns they are. So this, for this first one is about is C1, which is column one. Then the footing is B1, this one. Now, let me show you what this is about. This B1 details the kind of footing for the column column C1. So let's go to B1. Let me show you what this is about. So base type B1 uh, shows the dimension of the footing, which is 1.5 meters by 1.5 meters. And then uh, we have the arrangement of the footing mesh with eight length of Y 16, which is 16 mm rods rebar at uh, which is 200 centers. It's 16 mm rods on this part, and then eight 16 mm rods on this part. And then this is a section cut so in showing section AA, which is up here, and this shows the section of this footing. And then uh, for this base type B2, the location is on uh, this area. Say B2, yeah, that's it there. Uh, it's a, a collection of about four columns. So you've got C1, and then two C2s, and one C3. So the detail for this footing is shown on this part. And this is the width of the footing, 1.5 meters by 2.625 meters. Uh, and then it shows the arrangement of the rebar on the mesh. We have eight 16 mm rods on this part at uh, 200, top and bottom mesh. And then are 14 16 mm rods at 200 spacing top and bottom and then this is a section bb which is up here uh, this clearly shows the bottom mesh and then the top mesh then the height of the concrete casting is also shown here moving on for column C1, I'll show you the detail of this uh, column. Is on uh, that is on the column details part. So this is column type C1. The dimension for column type C1 is 230 mm by 230 mm, basically a square. Now this is the starter column. Uh, it is a uh, Y20, which is 20 mm rebar, there's four of it, four Y20 for the starter column, and then there is four 
those are seven, seven 10 mm ties for the starter columns. And then uh, the spacing is uh, 200 centers. That's 200 centers, except otherwise stated. Now this starter column goes project on top of the oversight concrete and then um, enough enough room is given for the lapping and then it illustrates here that is a it's shown here as a 750 mm for the lapping between the starter column and then the extension column you realize that this 750 mm is actually just starts from on top of the screeding 75 mm screeding and this is the oversight concrete and then uh, we have a 750 plus 75 which is about 825 mm and then plus uh, 150 m75 millimeters for this lapping from for the starter columns now the height of from the top of the casted footing to the height of the oversight concrete is about 1500 mm and then the, the links i think i've said this before the, the ties for this starter column is 10 mm and it's seven in numbers so for the extension columns is four 20 mm rods and uh the number of ties for this column is 14 10 mm rods 14 10 mm rods at 200 centers and then we have a section view of this column this section one and that is available here basically these other ones are just a repetition of what's down under except uh, for the last floor which is about which is the second floor the y20 changes to y16 but the number remains four and then for the section here the section view here section one is shown here this basically shows the section showing the, the column tie and then the arrangement of the rebar the four y20 mm rods inside moving on Column type C2, which is found here, this, there is about four of these C2 types. There's one, two, three, four. Then the C2 is, the start columns shows that uh, there is six Y16 mm rods here. And then the diameter, is 300, 300 diameters, and then the the ties for the column is 10 mm rods, seven of it, 200 centers for the spacing, except for the otherwise stated. This project also, just as the other ones, mm, and then the section section two is shown here. You can see clearly that this is a circular type column. It's, the diameter is uh, 300 millimeters. Then the section shows clearly the arrangement of the six rebars for the column. So that goes on for the other column types. The next item is uh, the beams layout, the first floor beams layout. Um, basically, this shows clearly the type of beams. Uh, the details for each beam for beam one from this part to this end is the whole of beam one and then beam two also starts from this part to this other part the same length as beam one but different details you can see clearly that the number of columns on beam one is clearly different from that on beam two. That goes on for the other one, let's say beam three. Beam three is a short one. It starts from this point to this point. Then beam four starts from this column to this other column. Then um, beam five starts from this point 
to this point then for beam 6 beam 6 goes from here to this point so that goes on and on and on for the other beams now the detail for this beam for beam 1 is will be found in the beams detail beams detail so let's look at beam 1 the detail for beam 1 so beam 1 it shows here that the the width of beam 1 is 230 mm by 450 millimeters mm now the rebar for the beam 1 it showed shows that uh, there's three y16 which is 16 mm y16 for the top rebar and then four y16 mm for the bottom rebars this section shows the arrangement of the rebars in the stirrups so let's look at this the section this section one for beam one and that's can be found close by which is here and that clearly shows that we have three rebars up for the top and then um, three four rebars below just as is stated here four y16 then three y16 top and then the the stirrups for this beam the entirety of this beam is a uh, 80 units so we have 80 units of 10 mm rods at uh, 200 centers so that goes there so let's go on and pick a random beam from um, this beam's detail to look at uh, the beam from beam's layout to look at beam's details rather so let's pick beam six no let's pick beam yeah beam six is fine the beam six and then the details for beam six can be found here no that's sorry okay that's it there that's beam six beam six the size of for beam six is 230 mm by 450 mm and then um it shows here that there is four y16 mm for the top rebars and then four y16 mm for the bottom rebars it's quite dissimilar from beam one that has three y16 for the top and then four y16 for the bottom so for beam six we have a four y16 for the top and then 4y16 for the bottom let's look at the section of this beam to see for uh, clearly how many rebars are in the stirrups so there is four at the top and there is four at the bottom and then um for this beam six there is about 49 stirrups which is y10 10, 10 mm rods 49 at uh, 200 centers this basically is about the spacing for the stirrups and uh, that's that for beams detail now for the next item we look at uh, i think this is the second floor beams layout uh, is not the same with the first floor beams layout and that is because on the first on the first floor uh, there is a there are cantilevers we've got cantilevers around the building so let's go to first floor sorry the second floor beams layout and look at this uh, beams layout on this cantilevered part so on the first floor sorry the second floor beams layout we have this cantilever area and then this is beam 19 so to look at the detail of this beam we'll go to the beams detail for the second floor and that is uh, around here which is the second floor beams detail and we want to look at beams 19 and beam beam 19 it is here it shows the length of the rebar and then the number of rebars in the beams so we have three y16 mm rods for the top and then three y16 mm rods for the bottom and this section shows the arrangement of the rebar so on the section section 19 to 19 is here shows three rebars for the top and three rebars for the bottom and then the, the height of the stirrup 
then this talks about the number of stirrups for the beam. This is uh, 10 mm uh, rods for this beam. There is 16 units of it at uh, 200 centers. Now the next item will be the slab detail. Now an extended version of this video will be available for members only and um, this is going to talk about the details and the arrangement of the rebars bottom top and bottom mesh and uh, how to interpret all of these numbers and also for the staircase detail is also going to be inclusive included in the extended version of this video only for members go on and join the channel you will not regret it thank you for watching i hope you learned a thing or two on this video and that uh, the next time you come across uh, a structural drawing it to be easy for you to pinpoint to look at and uh, understand what it is please leave a comment now we want the art see you on the next one